Hey, what's up everybody? So today, I'm going to do a special video for you guys. There's a lot of talk on the internet about this technique, this study technique, called the Feynman Technique. So first, let me talk about who Richard Feynman was. He was a famous theoretical physicist. He had an amazing ability to deconstruct difficult concepts so that he could understand it himself or so that he could teach it to other people. Supposedly, this is one of the most effective and efficient ways to study. Because what you're doing is you're forcing your brain to recall information. And if you can really, if you can truly explain something simply, as if you were talking to a five-year-old, it usually means you understand the subject matter. You could try recording yourself talk, you could try teaching your pets some some math and physics and explain all these equations to them. It really doesn't matter. What matters is, is that you're actually explaining these things out loud. Ideally, you want to do this with a study group or if you have a study partner, that would be the best thing. But that can be kind of difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record myself using the Feynman technique. And this is the first time I've ever really done this so it should be very interesting. I have a whole list of things that I'm gonna to try to explain out loud. In the first pass, I don't think I'm gonna get most of it. I might even be flat out wrong. I'm just gonna straight up guess what I think these things are. So then what I do is I go back and I check. I look in the book and I see if I'm right. And I keep doing this until I, I really understand what these things are. And I actually know because I can explain it. So here we go. First, I'm going to explain number one on the list. What is the arc length formula? How does it work? How do you use it? All right. So then I, I take out my I take out my notepad right here. I have a I have a bunch of things that I'm going to write down. Okay. What is the arc length formula? Well, the arc length formula is defined uh, as the in integral from s 0 to t, the magnitude. It's the magnitude of the vector value function. No, it's the magnitude of the derivative of the vector value function, which looks something like this. All right. I still don't think that was explained in the simplest terms possible, which may indicate that I don't really understand what this is. The magnitude of something means the length, so the magnitude of this pencil is, uh, whatever, the length of something. And you take that, there's a distance formula, so what you do is you take the square root of, oh, okay. Okay, so if you have two points in space, the distance of that is going to be you subtract you subtract the, the first point. Now you take the square root. Now you add all those things. You square all those things. That is going to be the magnitude. The arc length is like if you have a curve and and it kind of arcs and Uh, you sum up all the little vector thingies in the curve where it's when you have a you have a problem where you need to you need to find how long from one point to another point <laughs> okay that was terrible so okay so here's the key thing there's nothing wrong with not knowing what the hell you're talking about. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to record my responses and I'm going to identify exactly what it is I didn't understand. This is very difficult. This is actually very difficult, but I feel like I'm I feel like I'm actually studying. I'm I'm engaging my entire I'm engaging my brain all of it. Like I said, you're taking the derivative of the vector value function, the function that has, the, the, the vector that has a bunch of functions in it, 
you, and you're you're taking the derivative of that, and then you're oh god, I don't even know what that means. Big question mark. What does normalizing mean? Okay, <laughs> moving on. Binormal vector normal vectors are like perpendicular to thingies. So perpendicular to that plane or that line. Binormal is probably, I'm going to say, what does bi mean? Usually bi means both ways. <laughs> I guess it means like both ways. And maybe a normal vector going this way because it's going both ways, you know, like when you're bi-curious, you swing both ways. You, you, you do the double derivative, derivative thingy and then you plug that into more equations. That's how you. That's how it works. That's how you use it. That was pretty bad, but here's the thing. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna type up all the things I said because what I would normally be doing is, as I'm doing this, I'm writing stuff down. So you don't have to record yourself, but I'm just showing you what I'm actually doing. So all my responses, I'd, I'd be writing them down on this notepad, and then I go back and actually check if they're right. That way, I know. I know what I don't know. I'm figuring, I'm isolating exactly what it is I don't understand. So what you want to do is you want to record yourself saying these things and explaining these concepts out loud. Or at the very least, you want to write these things down in your notepad. Then what you do is you go and check your book. See if you explained it correctly or got the answer right. If you didn't, you go back and you do it again. If you do this enough times, it should stick pretty well in your brain. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like or subscribe button. Thanks. Have a good day.